Okay, we'll just call the meeting to order. Hadley Board of Health. And first item on the agenda is to accept the previous minutes. I sent them out to everyone. Um, all those in favor of accepting the minutes? I make a motion to accept. Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Okay. All right, update from our health director. Do you? What, how do you want to lead off on this? I got a list of stuff, so we'll just go through it. Um, so uh, the uh, the establishment that had the high bacterial counts in the uh, frozen dessert machine, um, I know we had mentioned before it was good. It remains really low. So I think the problem has eternally been solved. I will not bring it up again because, yay, we did it. Um, the next thing is summer camp's mostly finished. We will do a follow up on it, but we're pretty much where we want to be as far as summer camp inspections go. Uh, they went good, and and the camp, summer camps we have are really like people that want to comply and do the right thing, so it's easy to do them. You know, um, I have the uh, annual food license SOP written. In fact, let me uh, let me distribute that. What I want to do is the next time we meet. Uh, just have you guys um, give feedback um, if it's good for you to uh, approve it. Um, I could approve it myself, I suppose, but I'd prefer since it's the first SOP that I'm writing that I'd like feedback first. So it would be it would be good to get this, the boards. Um, this is you know well, policies and procedures oh, that yeah. we can have full transparency. Put it on the website. Nobody different. can say you did something different for somebody else than you did for me. Right? It's my fantasy dream. Thank you, Ben. For yeah, exactly. no problem, no problem. This is going to be just great that we have everything up there and really appreciate it. This is a lot of work. No and, problem. Uh, happy to look at it and uh, give feedback. There's some I've already looked at. But it's kind of rough draft. Dra dra There's a few things I looked at. I was like, oh, that's either supposed to be capitalized or this is not supposed to be capitalized. So I'll go through it. And if you see some grammar stuff, feel free to, uh, to um, you know, uh, uh, call it out. But as long as it works, then uh, if you guys can uh, give feedback the next time and if it's approved, then uh, then we'll implement and uh, be good to go. And uh, and the big reason, as, as Susan was saying, we want to make sure that nobody feels like they're getting treated differently or anything like that. Same procedure every single time, follow the same the same steps. So that's the that's the goal, and uh, I think it's a great one. And uh, Susan, thanks for bringing it up. Um, all right, the next thing is public engagement. We, we spoke about it the last time we met. A goal of ours for this uh, this coming year. Um, I have a meeting scheduled with the Hadley Business Council uh, August eighth. It's going to be like a public presentation. That's great. Uh, they just want to know how you inspect and what's your what, what's the process for getting a license. Basic stuff. Good relationship yeah, with this community. community. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'll bring you this, you know, it's assuming That's everything great. works out. Yeah. Um the next thing, uh finally have a lot of time for food inspections. So I've been getting a lot of them done. Um uh, they've been good. Overall, uh the thing that is obviously a problem right now is temps. Like yeah, it, it, it's so hot and humid out there. The refrigeration really has a hard time keeping up. And so every place I've gone to, there's been some variety of temp uh, temp issues. There's only been one instance where there's had to be a fairly large discard, but um, that was like, you know, we couldn't avoid it. We did everything we could to avoid it, but we, we couldn't. Um, other than that, most people have just, you know, we had some people come in, fix it, that type of thing. But that is a trend that you should be aware of. Temps are a difficulty this time of year. Um, the next thing is we obviously had an issue with when Amherst released the um, partially treated um Sewage, yeah. Drain, drain water. yeah, so uh, that was a problem. Uh, we did have they posted signs for us as as required, and we did put something on the website. However, we did have a complaint come in from a gentleman um, that said that that unless he had heard about it or something like that from somewhere else, he wouldn't have known. He lives on the river and he has small children, and he was concerned that he wouldn't have known if it was to happen. A valid complaint, in my opinion. So. Um, 
the suggestion was made, it might have been either from him or from, I don't know if it was you, Peter, but it it got to me that, that um, from, from not me, outside of me, but somebody mentioned it to me, I think maybe Peter. Is it um, like using the Nixle alert? Yes. Yeah, so like the reverse 911, yeah. if you call it. it. We, I don't think we've had, if, if we've had access to it, I didn't. And so um, I spoke to Fire. Yeah. Um, and I guess Jennifer is also, uh, a, um, a keeper of those keys. Yeah. Um, so she said she was willing to do it, but she was really inundated when I brought her, brought up to her. So I have a meeting with her tomorrow to talk about right. it. Once it gets squared away, I'll let you guys know, I'll probably update it in the next board meeting, but it's going to be a really useful tool. We have yep. these issues that really the, the community should know. Uh, we should update the website, but if, if they want to sign up to know these types of things, no, we'll be happy to give them. It's the important. The other thing we could use it for is if we get a report in West Nile. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, That's a good one. You know, those are things that it's good to blast out to yeah, people. I agree. I agree. So, and what is this called? The reverse? It's people. Go ahead. It's the, I, I know what it is because I'm on it, but I mean, what's the phrasing? For people it? call it reverse nine one. Okay, it's like a way of us telling people. people. Yep. Yep. Yeah, historically, like during COVID and then before COVID, like um, Chief Spank Nabel mm. was out. Yeah, got that's it. Great. All right, so you'll figure out how to do. Yeah, that. we'll figure it out. I'll Good. meet with Jennifer. She said she's she's uh, she'll she's in agreement. We should be able to do that. Okay. Um, all right. The uh, the next thing, uh, which is a, a less a less good thing is uh we have an issue with uh body art regulation. We have the application online. Um, people can fill it out. And I think we've regulated based on it previously, but we have we do not have it posted in our bylaws, and I cannot find it anywhere that it what you know the actual details. Because of that, I reached out to our uh, legal team and asked, "Can I enforce anything related to body art?" And they said, "No, you may not. Do not do that." We do have a body art establishment coming into into Hadley right now, so we're we're in a bit of a pickle. You know, we already have. I heard about that. We have one in town. Yes, I know. I don't know how that all happened in the past. I can't go back on all that. Mm -hmm. But what I asked them to do is, um, and I don't know who's on the emails. I've put some people on emails related to it. But what they've agreed to do, our, our legal team, is we are adopting what I think was adopted previously by the Board of Health, in the, a previous iteration of the Board of Health. So it's nothing new. It's not something that I think right, we have right. to go to jump through hoops on. We just need to make it more official. Okay. And so... I asked the uh, the our legal team to get the ones that are suggested by the state. Um, they'll codify it, Perfect. and then once that's codified, they will hand it to me. I'll bring it to you guys, and then you guys can vote. And I'm assuming that you'll uh, you'll be you're, you're you're predisposed towards passing. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Um, and once that's in place, I'll be able to regulate it. Okay. That being said, I spoke to the people coming in, and they said, though I cannot approve your application or issue you a license right now. I'm asking, and they've complied with uh, turning in the applications. Mm -hmm. They're coming from Greenfield, so this is not their first rodeo. So they should already have everything they need, which is the best case scenario. Okay. Um, so they're giving us everything, and it's good to go. Once once it's voted on, if it ha does pass, then I should have all the paperwork, and I'll be able to get right. through it. All right. Yeah, I think it's one of those like pre, you, you know how pre tech organized that how. So this is a great opportunity to revisit, make sure also that our language is going to be current with the most recent yeah, standards true. and stuff like that. So yeah, great. it'll be the updated version. <laughs> yeah. Um, will this be on permit link so that, you know, automatically renewed and that sort yeah. of thing? No. Looking at Peter, he would know. No. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep track of, well, there's only one that I'm aware of, right? I one body art establishment? I know of one right now. Okay. And another coming. Right. Oh, there is another coming. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was just trying to think of, well, you know, how do we monitor the renewals and making sure that. The... That it would be how we used to do it old school. Okay. Yeah. yeah and, 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 you know, I think this is going to be resolved quickly. So by the time the renewal comes, it'll be all set. It'll be just business as usual. Okay. Um, and we can't undo what we did previously there's no but it's just now we know we have to do something but previously we didn't know and so we just move forward and do the best we can any questions on that no okay 
Uh, the next thing is uh, private well regulations. I sent out the email. It was long, I know, but I had to kind of break it down the best I could. Did you guys get it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't expect it wasn't that long ago. So I don't expect, oh, I read all of them and I'm, you know, I have opinions. I don't expect any of that, but I just wanted at this meeting to confirm you got it. My goal is to get some feedback, even if it's, it looks good to me. But if you think that there's a, if there's something that could be a challenge for Hadley or whatever the case might be, feel free to then bring it to, to me. My goal is whenever I get feedback, I send it over to legal so that we get it put in the right way. We don't, you know, I'm not a legal ex expert or anything right. like that. I want to make sure that people that know what they're doing, put it in, put it, the, the changes in right. as need be. And I do want to work with the town too, because, you know, there's a part of it that, for example, regulates agricultural wells. So I don't want to have a situation where we put it into place, we get a ton of pushback, people yeah, yeah. don't know, all that kind of stuff. We want to make sure it's it's at least, you know, people have the, the opportunity to provide feedback and any changes yeah. that are reasonable are able to be put into it. Absolutely. Uh, so that's going to be a long process. I don't think this is going to be, you know, even maybe this year, but it's going to be worked on this Get year. Get it started. And, yeah. um, and I just want to make sure we'd already spoken about it before. Is the board generally in favor of making sure private wells are, are regulated? Yeah, yes. okay. absolutely. All right. I think the state is too. They, they don't often put, give you on a silver platter, the regulations and say, please pass this. Uh, in this case they do. So they, they think that it's an important thing too, and they have trainings out there for it. I mean, it's there's they they have the full um, support behind it. Good. So yeah, I'm glad that you guys are on board with that. That's what I have for you guys uh, today. Uh, do you guys have anything for me? I I want to know how it feels with your hours increase. Oh my I goodness! Like yeah, too. yeah, it's great actually. I really like it. Yeah. <laughs> I really like it. I, getting inspections done feels amazing. I I was always. The amount of hours I had, uh, I could maybe here and there, but I was just trying to keep up with other things. And we don't have a bunch of events right now. So right. I'll, I was telling Peter, uh, you know, I don't have anything that's bearing down on me like I have been. So I got to make hay while the sun shines. You can actually and, get the work done. Yeah, just like get out there, inspection, 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 before yeah. something that happens and takes Do me away. Again, the you know? software through permit link? Did that ever that's something I got to follow up on because, yeah, there's I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm writing it out by hand and then email. It. So what's happening? What's the hold up with the permit line thing? Last I I checked is that they they d didn't have it ready right, to you just, go. You got too busy, so yeah, yeah. I got to follow. Start up. bothering. Yeah, I I got to start bothering. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. My other question is, where are you uh, as far as comfort level with septic? I feel pretty good with it. Um, I you know I I was speaking to Peter. I do think that we already have. Um, Oh my goodness! How am I forgetting his name right now? Kevin. Kevin, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Kevin uh, funded until the next year, so I'm okay. I would like to go out with him a few times, okay. uh, but I feel pretty comfortable with it. All like right. I got the I, training stuff. I would say, you know, as soon as you feel comfortable yeah. with it, we don't have to spend the money. Oh, okay. It's been yeah, 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 designated. Yeah. Uh, you know, sure for Kevin. Sure, yeah. So well, I'm not pressuring you, but yeah. I'm saying as soon as you feel like you're able to do it, start doing. It. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I I'll definitely do that. Um, uh, I I want to make sure that one of the things I want to get us caught up on, which I can go very quickly right now, are the food inspections. There's quite a few from like, yeah. you know, early pandemic type yeah. of a thing that we really need to get on. Uh, because they're just, they're just so out of date. Uh, so I want to get all those done really quick and, and get them on a good routine schedule. Uh, once I feel like like those like you know emergency right, things exactly. we got to meet are done, then I can focus on some of that stuff a little bit more. But you, your point about getting permit link all okay. squared so away is a good one. A general question or just something for us to discuss. I know sometimes you come before us, Ben, and mm -hmm. there's been a problem with a rest a food establishment yeah. and you are very careful not to mention the name. Yeah. Um and I'm uh wondering why mm. and if that's necessary. Sure. Because I think you know maybe we should you know we should not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not to tell anybody, sure. you know, but I, I don't know. I, I, and I don't know if other people, I know Margaret had mentioned it and, um, 
Sure. You know, I don't feel strongly pre- and so either way, but I want to If I can have interrupt at one of our previous, oh gosh, this is going back over a year, a year and a half, could be, be more than that. Uh, that was what we actually talked about posting mm. the results online yeah. of, of the food inspections, yeah. um, you know, in sort of public interest. Uh, I know certainly in other, um, I mean, in, in other uh, counties, they do this. Sure. Uh, where right in there, they're, they're not they're, con- they're not confident. Yeah, they're, they're not confident. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. And yep. so um, I think that it's, yeah, I don't think there's a need to treat it confidentially. I don't know how, um, Emma, you feel about it or, you know, Ben or, you know, Marcy. I mean, yeah, Peter. So, uh... I, I think we've been careful that I think I'm probably one of them that try to vote, you know, if we have somebody that is going through an issue that we, that we keep the names out of it only because a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, the people that we permit the food viewpoint are small businesses. And if we're recording a meeting such as this, we say that XYZ restaurant are route nine is uh, in violation of this, but Ben's going back to educate them. What we've done is we've created a perception that, uh oh, you know, should anybody actually watch this? Mm-hmm. Uh, that, uh oh, we shouldn't go there. So you think it's better to keep it confidential? I mean, it, it, and it, I have from, a from, from, from the viewpoint that um, the businesses in this town, particularly on Route 9, it's a major revenue stream. You know, the, the meal taxes, you know, the hotels are, yeah, no doubt are, are creating yeah. lodging taxes and so on and so forth. You know, so, so we leave somebody, a, a viewer, or by word, of, by word of mouth, that we leave them with the perception, hey, these guys are troublemakers, or their food's no good, or their chef is looking the other way, or whatever. And that's really... Not necessarily the case, right. but we just happen to bring it up. Ben happens to bring it up, and he mentions the name. You know, what are the ramifications? Okay. I have a suggestion. Um, is there a way, like I know other boards have shared files that they have for information sharing, um, like prepping into meetings, like where the well permit stuff could be. Um, where this SOP could have been. Yep. I immediately think of select board, but I know other some other boards and committees do that too. Um, so I'm wondering in, in trying to s- possibly spare, uh, being able to prep for the meeting beforehand, having awareness um, and it not being deliberation or discussion, right? But that way everyone can come to the meeting perhaps. I, I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. The, the other thing that the three of you that are careful of is mm-hmm. when you look at that shared file or whatever the vehicle is, you don't have a conversation right. outside of this meeting. Right. Because right. if you do, then right. we, no. we get into right. Correct. open meeting laws. Right. Well, and, and we don't discuss now you're, you're, anything. Now you're uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would say that I remember, ooh, gosh, I don't know how many meetings back, but you, you mentioned an establishment, and I had absolutely no clue wh- who you were talking about, sure. anything like that. And I, I remember thinking, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I like the shared file system because I, I don't want to know what was that about. I have no idea. Right, just this so a big know for liability, just so, we, so that we're informed. Yeah. yeah. So no, that's a big. Uh, yeah, I'll jump in at this point. I do. It, it's it's incredibly reasonable, and I think uh, important that the board does know what I'm talking about. And if there is even one member that doesn't know the establishment that I'm talking about, even if I assume that they know, that doesn't mean they do know. And um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a good criticism. So uh, we should find some solution. I do think a shared drive or something like that might not be a bad idea. Do you have any ideas on like the 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 vehicle? So okay, great. 
<laughs> okay, fair enough. All right, well, you guys can do it. We'll figure that out. Yeah, I'll, uh, it, we'll, we'll, we've got a month before the next yeah. one, so so we'll, we'll figure it out. But I appreciate you bringing it up. Yeah, and... definitely don't want to cause problems no, for yeah. any business. But, but so getting back to Margaret's original comment, um, so as you may recall, we did have an establishment that came in right know, four, five, six months ago. Yeah. I lose track of time. Um, in my personal opinion, that that was definitely in balance because they were they had a, a, a rap sheet. Okay, and I'm not going to mention the name, but again, they came in here. The owner came in, yeah. and there's this, 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 right. and this, and hadn't been resolved. And Margaret had gone out there prior to mm -hmm. yeah. then being hired. I mean, just a litany of things. Yeah. Again, my just my personal opinion, but in that situation, you know, we had the guy here. And because it's being recorded, you know, it only made sense to introduce the person right. as, you know, Mr. X from XYZ company, you know, and let him publicly ask questions, defend himself, whatever kind of thing. And, and to me, that was fair. That was balanced. And in my mind, you had every right to let the public know, hey. Right. That, those are this, this guy's, two this different guy's situations. Bad at yeah, I mean, like it's with your Excel spreadsheet, as you were talking, like maybe you know, I could put business business A is this, and then when I'm talking, I could business A, and you you can always, oh yeah, that that means this business. It's a great. I think it's a it's a good middle ground. You'll figure. I think it's a good middle ground. You'll know the board will be fully informed, and at the same time, people that are in the middle of trying to solve a problem won't feel disparaged, and you know, like, well, I'm trying to fix it. You guys are bad mouth. Oops, yeah. bad mouthing me at the meeting. You know what I mean? So uh, I think that's a good middle ground. So thank you for that. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll follow up on it. Any other questions? No, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. No problem. I appreciate all your hard work. Thank you guys for bringing things up. Have you on board. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks Great again. Day. And I'll uh, hit the road. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'll see you then. All right. Marcy, we'll uh, you're up because we'll get you home also. Um, well, it's nice to meet all of you. Haven't met everybody. Um, I think that I can do most of my stuff through an email, um, to you and to Margaret. I don't, you know, so the dragon. One, the one dragon. thing that, yeah, one thing that came up was, uh, supplies that's that the big you thing. were interested yeah. in. One was, uh, EpiPen. Well, um, yeah, and I gave you the cost. It's just an enormous yeah, I, cost. So I think I'd like for us to have a discussion here, um, mm -hmm. a more meta view in the sense that, um, you know, what is your role here? Yeah. And what are the liabilities? Uh, in other words, um, I think we might have to check with legal. Because even because you had said something about Advil or Tylenol, I'm concerned that giving yeah, out that anything no, I, that wasn't you. I I was thinking, yeah, even the you know the EpiPen. Yeah, I mean, if you know you were to use an EpiPen and somebody, you know, they had a cardiac arrest or something, mm -hmm. I I we need to make sure that you're you have some kind of malpractice or the town has some kind of coverage for you. Yeah. Uh because if not, then I would call nine one one. I mean the ambulance is right down the I was road. Thinking the same They'll thing. be here in yeah. three minutes. Yeah. So it's not um, first of all we don't have money for it, but I mean yeah, you know, if we all felt like we should have certain things here, I you know, I would I would buy that. You know, I can prescribe an EpiPen and, you know, we can keep it here. But, but we don't have standing orders. Right. I have a lot of concerns about it. And I don't want to be a physician of record uh, for any kind of treatments that go on here. Yeah. I, Does that make sense to you? It makes you, perfect Martin? sense to me. And I just thought how you, you know, at first wanting mm -hmm. to have something like that, because any person could administer it. But, um, yeah, it, it's so costly. And the, you know, EM, the emergency services are, are, are right here. They so really are right that. next door to us. There are a couple of things that I, and I, again, these are just things like people come in, they're out in the world, they come in with rash or I have, 
we got to have liquid Benadryl if somebody starts to have um, a rat. You know, that's, again, 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 it's, again, it's over, treatment. It's I got to tell you, I wouldn't do it. Okay. I, I, I think, it, it, unfortunately, the world we live in. Really, the way I think about it is yeah. think of um, the role here as like a wellness nurse. Yes. In an independent living, right? So you don't treat wounds. You don't treat illness. Mm -hmm. You can say, I would recommend that you follow up with your primary care doctor or mm -hmm. maybe an urgent care yeah. center, but like blood pressure or like screenings, fine. Yeah. But really it's more of wellness rather than. I totally, I, I really had to get adjusted to what that was. Okay. And I do that. understand it. I'm fine with it, but okay. I, but I do, I do want to, do I have time to say a few things about yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't have that thermometer i don't have any they were all mercury and they were all yeah there they, i have a whole there was an entire box of them i'll look in my house but i'm pretty sure they're here i'll come in okay. when did i say this coming? tuesday what time are you here on tuesday um nine to twelve can you do me a favor and call me at nine and remind me you're kind of asking me blind because <laughs> um, ben and i are going to do, oh no that's tuesday we're going to do a camp I would say, um, yes, I will do my best to give you a notification. Just give me a call either Monday or Tuesday okay. morning, and I'll come over and we'll look together to okay. see it. I'll, meanwhile, I'll look in my house, but I'm sure I unloaded it all here. So there was there was a glucometer there and a million test strips, but my understanding is that's not going to be happening um, because, again, right. you know, what do you do with the results? And right. How do you manage it? Um, um, I can just take a pulse. I don't need a pulse ox if that's the case. Right. Um, I did have, I mean, this, the, there was a lot of supplies there that were like um, uh, injury, like treatments, you know, gauze and this and that. So, it was, I was kind of wondering, well, what does that mean for what I'm supposed to be doing? Yeah, that, I don't even know when that's from. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then the Those last are, thing. That would forgive me questions, though, too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was just kind of wondering, because there's just a bunch of things. I went, and I'll ask the front where we could maybe donate some stuff. Um, the other thing that I just wanted to say was, um, do you know Nora? Do you, any of you know Nora, who volunteers in the kitchen? She, her son was visiting from Texas and he saw the stethoscope that we have and the blood pressure cuffs that we have. And um, they're really in bad, they're really old and they're falling, they really need to be renewed. And so he's going to donate. Oh, lovely. So he's got a donation coming that way. And then so we can get rid of the work. <laughs> and that's all. Okay, and you're, you said you're enjoying, I mean, we want you to. I just look at it as like an opportunity for just maybe some education yeah. and stuff. That's and exactly. Talking to people. That's people exactly love to what talk. It that's yeah. what it yeah. is. And do you, and did, do you, did you and Haley come up with maybe some suggestions or how you want to handle any of that? Like maybe having a, something about uh, blood pressure, you know, monitoring, you know, little talks that you, that you can give wellness talks. In the um, Haley didn't, but um, Violet was really um, useful. I just printed out a handout on hydration just because it was so, so hot. Yep. It's good. Thank you. And then I want to do ticks. I mean, there's always a that's million perfect. things, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's just the sort great. of thing. West Nile virus, ticks is a great one. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah, and especially mm -hmm. hydration this time of year. Perfect. Yeah. So, so just those sorts of things, you know. All right, so we will meet up at some point. Okay. See, we're looking for a thermometer. Yeah, thermometer. Right. And the other, yeah, okay. Mm. Any yeah. other questions or concerns? Uh, I had a list of stuff that I thought would be nice to have on hand, but um, um, I think that I need to just step back. And if there's a problem that somebody has medically, mm -hmm. then I just need to direct them to where they need to get to. Yeah, right to their facility. Yeah, so Lots that of. kind of clears things up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good, okay. good, good. Well, I think that was uh, really was well to say it's well, yeah. the role is wellness. Yeah, not it was a big shift for me, too, when I started learning about, like, 
town based population per se. Um, Are you a nurse? Yeah, but coming from my background was emergency medicine. Oh my God. So being like, what do you mean? Yeah. So hands off. Totally so different. It, you have to flip it's it. It's a, a whole bit. different thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we should talk, I think, and maybe get ideas together. Yeah. Okay. Marcy, where are you with, uh, with regards to a computer? What would need for a computer? I don't have a computer. I don't, um, unless there's a reason why, you know, something needs to get tagged or, you know, like, uh, like for instance, during COVID, you mm -hmm. know, had to list the positives and like that. But I have one here. And what I would really need it for is just to, I would borrow one and I would just need it for printing information. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. so, so I don't think I'll be receiving or sending email. You know, I, I use my phone. You could pay for my phone. <laughs> it's quite expensive. <laughs> no, I'm so, you know, so if, if we needed to email you. Is it through the town? And the nurse email. That's, that's where, where I was just going to ask. It's nurse right. at Hadley Mass. I'm sorry? Nurse at Hadley Mass. No, no, I know the email address. Can you get that on your phone? Yeah, I set it up. Oh, good. It was okay. a just opening Outlook. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Thank so, you, Marcy. You can... just, just want to make sure that you can communicate with everybody and I can, communicate with you. But I'm not on that all the time. Of course, no, you know, no, yeah, no, yeah. nor are you expected yeah, to know. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, nice to see you. All right. Thank, thank you, Marcy. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for coming and thank you for the update. All right. What else we got? Stay here? cool. Oh, uh, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, right? Yeah. Uh, next one we have is some water testing updates. I don't know, Dragon, if you were able to get a hold of friends of I, like I or... again, and Jason actually just recently emailed me back, and I have to we're, we have to replay the phone tag. Okay, so uh, slow going, but Bye. see ya. We're slowly getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure he knows Allison. Will do. Don't make don't don't Allison Ryan is her name. Got it. I'm he, I'm sure he does if he's if he's in the scene. Yeah. Okay. Um, Board of Health initiatives for 23. I think we went over those like last month, didn't we? Start or did we wait? Why don't we table it until okay. um, if that's okay? Yeah. I'd like to make a motion to table it until next month. When Ben is back, we can discuss it. You know, you're right. We did talk about that. Our focus is going to be on standard operating procedures, right? right. Which he's working. Yeah, on. which he's Terrific. working on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Connect with Allison. Who? Uh, for Allison or I? She's, she's an expert mm -hmm. on cyanobacteria. All right. Um, and then any other business that couldn't be reasonably anticipated? I don't think so. Let me think, uh, Crystal. You know, the, we brought this up when Ben was here earlier. Uh, the fact that he has much more capacity now, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 37 and a half hours is obviously a lot more than 18 hours. So my capacity is down to, at least from a budgeting viewpoint, is now up to 10 hours versus mm -hmm. 7. When I started two years ago, it was five, five hours a week. Mm -hmm. I could go from five to seven to ten. Not that I need to work ten every single every single week. I mean, and again, during permitting season, I'll be working for right. ten hours a week. Right. But it's kind of like an ebb and flow uh, kind of thing. But um, I think uh, Ben was able to uh, share uh, yesterday at the department head meeting that uh, Carolyn shares uh, on a monthly basis. He, he shared with the group, at least he was going to, and I didn't see him today because it was in the office. But I believe he shared with everybody yesterday that um, it's kind of a new board of health in terms of what goes on in the town hall. And, you know, beyond standard operating procedures, just the fact that now we have a, we have the capacity to get stuff done. So, and, you know, he's, Ben's been pulled off the track a few times of, of some odd cases or some, some you know, once in a lifetime type cases. But the fact that now he can get up and down room nine 
and do this faction. Yeah, no, it's terrific. We, we hired him to do. I mean, that's great. Um, the fact that uh, you know we still have uh, at least we have Kevin uh, on board right now doing uh, the the perk test and the title fives and, and all that stuff, and it's getting done quickly and efficiently. And people in the, if you will, in the industry, they know him, right? And so the I, I see the emails that come in from like the engineers. And I pass them on to Kevin, and they know Kevin, Kevin knows them. And so, you know, that kind of stuff now, it's like, it's very different from where we were in the year. Mm -hmm. There's a little transition. Actually, you know, two years ago, mm -hmm. it was like completely yeah. different. So, um, you know, the, the fact that we have the capacity and the town uh, town voted to, you know, to pay for that capacity, it, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. It's a big deal. deal. And, it, and a lot of the guesswork. A lot of the guessing in terms of getting the work done that happened again a year or two ago, or having there, to, there's no more guess, or having to triage like the things to do, right? Not being able to do all the work that needs to be yeah. done to keep people safe. Yeah. So, so it's so, all it's so all it, good. It, it, it's it's very uh, it's very different. I mean, I, I see it here from where I was when I started two years ago to where we are now. It's professionalized. It's, it's very different. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the fact that we have someone who can, I mean, I read through the regulations for private wells and all all the engineering components to that and whatever. The fact that we can have someone who can go out and talk knowledgeably about it or yeah. septic systems or whatever, that's the sort of stuff that I don't do, Dragon doesn't do, yeah. Susan, you know, none of us do. So... So to have some a professional who's that's their job yeah. to do that makes everything go more smoothly. We're not getting phone calls from people saying, I'm still waiting and, for and, and people right. will know what to expect. And people will people know what will to expect to it. Yeah. I have a you're you're the animal inspector, mm -hmm. correct? How many hours do you think you do put in for that? Um, I would have to do a real data analysis. Um, but the role uh, I'm doing a ton more than what is budgeted. So let's time. let's yeah before the we put in our budget request for next year, let's figure out what is appropriate yeah. and we'll we'll get that. It's, I think it's really only budgeted probably for fifty it's a thousand dollars a year. And every year I have to inspect all the farms right. for the yearly MDAR counts and then respond to any um, rabies quarantine. Yeah. Well, just let stuff. us know. So, yeah. Stop. Let us know over the next couple of months yeah. how many hours it yeah. is a year. That just been there. trying to really gather data because it's like one thing to be like, wow, this feels like a lot rather than being able to be like, this is yeah. really the actual yeah. kind of pen to paper. Let's see or, if you can quantitate it for us. Yeah, thank really you for that. Um, uh, something came up, someone's approached me two days ago about, um, I think it's called thermal heat, hmm. you know, when a geothermal heat. Yeah. Like, and what got back to me was that was the board of health holding them up. And I thought, board of health, I've never even heard of. Uh, like somebody putting in a, a geothermal system in their home? Yeah, or wants to build one and apparently can't proceed any further. This came secondhand to me. Well, that doesn't... That and I thought, I, I know nothing about that it. That hasn't come to the... It's a new development. So, yeah. so I know that that much about it. So I wish Ben was here, still here, but... Um, I totally forgot. Yeah, I just so, so Ben has has been involved with this person uh, with, with the ap application and the applicant. Um, I think everything was taken care of today's Thursday. I want to say Tuesday, but you really need to ask Ben. But, I, uh, but yeah, this is the first time that Ben had run into right. it. He asked me if we had ever permitted since I've been here. It's like, we, I, I don't know what it we've is. We've never officially permitted. <clears throat> there has been like geothermal requests. Um, his, at least from my memory, which is not always great. 
but um, is that as long as they've had their independent engineer vet it and give like a good site plan and stuff, then we've never been obstructed with that. I would, yeah, it, ben, ben, I, would, I would suggest, Margaret, since somebody did mention it to you, second hand, third hand, whatever, you just to shoot it out to put this bar mm -hmm. column okay. and ask them so that ben may have the had same to, person doesn't ask. Yeah. Ben may have had to yeah. talk yep. with someone. I mean, right. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. this does bring it down. He, ben mentioned it to me. I think it was Tuesday. Okay. Well, I'll do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only thing that. Well, oh, we wanted to talk about uh, compliance. Our process, I'm sorry? our process for handling. Oh, for process for handling complaints. Yes, you yes. Speak to them. Yes. Um, I, th you know, given that we had, uh, we recently did this, uh, it seems to make sense, and I'll put, throw this out there, that we channel this into one sort of funnel everything so that there is uh, there's not a lot of miscommunication. And, you know, my concern would be that if one person handles this, then, um, yeah, then it just streamlines the process and we have a system in place. And I think, like, for instance, with this particular situation that I just talked about. Oh, the geothermal. The geothermal thing. It was presented to me as a problem. A, I knew nothing about it. Um, I think that in this particular situation, if I dug further and the complaint was directly made to me, I would want to bring it to, sorry, Susan, but as chair, I'd want to bring it to the chair to handle uh, rather than me going off in one direction. I, I agree. And, uh, and then, you know, not having, the, I'd rather the director or the, the it's, chair deal. It's with less it. telephone. It's like telephone. telephone. There's always a chance that I've got it wrong and then I've got to go back and say something. So, that is what really kind of um, when I'm thinking about process. So how would you handle it now? You would say, "Listen, I hear if they were complete, you would say, it's, it's, I it hear what you're say, saying. Please uh, contact. Say is, please contact, please contact uh, our chair, and, Susan Mosler. Right, she wants to hear. She wants. She's the one who will be dealing with right. complaints. That would be my way of uh, right. handling it. And um, my concern. Mm is that we're all elected members mm -hmm. of the board for constituents in our town. Right. And any one of our constituents should feel like they can come to any member of us because they might have a different relationship with Susan or you or me. And then based off of that, that's where as a board, we would discuss things, a plan of action moving forward, maybe the chair investigating it or whatever. But I have constituents come to me with questions all the time about different I haven't had a problem with but, but yeah like, but yeah just, yeah I would have just at, like reached out to Ben about it right Ben like hey what's up with the right thing, right um as an independent member right as information gathering um but I do have I feel like I hear what you're saying in terms of organization and streamlining but my concern is a loss of transparency and then also like our real intention of of a elective board. Um, so I don't think we're at odds, actually. I, I, I have no problems with someone coming to me and explaining it all. Mm -hmm. But I think what I would do is say to them, I, you know, uh, I hear what you're saying. Our process would be to, you know, in other words, just to make sure, because I don't want to, I don't, I mean, I think that whole telephone thing is a good, yeah. you know, I, I don't want to misrepresent, maybe facilitate a meeting or, you know, with, uh, with you know, how do we get around that? So you feel, and I feel mm -hmm. that people can come to us, but at the same time, 
I think it should be directed to one person to not necessarily solve it, mm -hmm. but so that there's a sense of uh, consistency in dealing with it. So, my so are we question, uh, are we really differing in well, what we're? Because my question is what I, at least what I'm hearing mm -hmm. is that then, as an individual member, not even representing this board, but maybe at, individually as a citizen. I'm feeling like I can't reach out if I had a question to Peter, like not if it was Board of Health or someone else in town trying to gather a background about that, that just because someone talks to us about something that we can't look into it, that doesn't feel... No, I, I, I agree. I think we should be able to look into it. Like I'm thinking like if I had an issue and say I wanted to go to the select board, mm -hmm. right? And I contacted whoever on the select board oh. um, and talked to them about it. I think what I would be looking for would be something that 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 member said to me. Um, uh, let's bring it before the you know why don't you come to a meeting? Let's bring it before the select board. Let's let's discuss it. So it's not I'm not being shut down. Well, because there's things different, like because. That would be like every member of our select board not ever being able to talk to any member of the public here until presenting at a public meeting. That no, but I'm saying a complaint, a very specific complaint mm -hmm. versus questions or whatever. Right. I, I'm not talking about general questions. I'm happy to go to Ben about it. But when I was given this particular information, I didn't even know what I was, first of all, I didn't even know you know like was this is this a complaint because it didn't come from the person it came from someone else from that person that told so but, but but let's just say it was a complaint about whatever how the board of health was handling it then i would you know a i don't have the information b i'd want to get information but i don't want to i would want to make sure that there is a streamlined process i guess mm -hmm. in place so i would say if it's a complaint about a process, I'll bring it to the board. I'll bring it back, mm -hmm. but have the complaint ultimately dealt with, I guess, by the chair. And I, I feel like it should be the board as a whole. I don't, okay, maybe, yes. Uh, I don't feel that... Um, it's one person making the decision, but that the person who's doing the responding is one person mm -hmm. about a complaint. Like, and, and I think that happened here after we had an executive session mm -hmm. that the follow-up did come from mm -hmm. Susan mm -hmm. in terms of the messaging. Mm -hmm. So I don't, yeah, no, no, and I, I not disputing mm -hmm. what we're talking about. That's exactly, but I think it makes sense to. Well, I've already said it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I think people should come to you, to me, to Susan, to whoever, and we do bring it. Mm -hmm. It gets discussed, mm -hmm. but that. The person who delivers the final mm -hmm. should come from whoever is, you know, decide, you know, whoever we as a group decide it should be. Yeah. But certainly I think any member should come to any person and any public person should be able to come to any of us. Yeah. Okay. I think we're having that we're saying the same thing. That's what I think. I, I do. I do think we are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Next. I don't I think that's, that's the last agenda item. That's it. Uh, okay. So just, what is, what is, excuse me. When is the next meeting? Is still the second Tuesday? Yeah. So the second, second Tuesday in August. Tuesday Thursday, or Thursday? Second Thursday. Thursday. You're testing, making sure I'm alert and oriented. So that would make it um, What's the, the 10th. Yeah. 10th. yeah. Motion to adjourn. Go for it. Uh, seconded. Okay. Okay. All right.